I wanted to show you this cool totem I built. It's built out of Global Trust USA. But let me show you. There's something different about it. Check this out. Let's go along the side. What's going on here? It's all open. We're using I-beams, or as they call them other places, ladder trussing. Two pieces with a few adjustments, a top plate and a bottom plate, can make this great looking totem. So why am I so excited about this concept? Why is it such a big deal? Well, traditionally you build totems out of box trussing like this. Nice stuff, heavy duty. Same stuff you build big trade show booths with, or cages and things like that. Well. If all we're building are totems, check this out. When you're transporting things, look at this. Here's an I-beam or a ladder truss piece. We're going to put it right in front and lay it down. We'll put another one in front and lay it down. As you can see, this is a big space saver. It looks like you could probably put, I don't know, six or eight of these for every one of these as far as space goes. So big space saver and it'll probably save you some money too. David at RSD Music over in Reading UK came up with this concept and he had these at his booth at BPM. They caught my eye and it was the coolest thing I think I saw at BPM period. The only thing I don't like about it is that I didn't think of it first. Now David's using his very own custom bottom plates but I'm finding that these Global Trust USA bottom plates, the aluminum ones, are super stable. So you can go the cheap route with the plates that David makes, or you can go with the Global or Dura Trust, depending on what side of the pond you are on, plates that are super stable. How do you build it? Here, this is how I built mine. For this project, you're going to need some kind of a bottom plate, some kind of a top plate, and two pieces of ladder or I beam truss. Now out of the box you're going to have to make some adjustments. Here's where your pin goes and notice that there's nowhere for it to go. It's being blocked. Look, on a regular global truss, when you do the totems on the box truss, the hole's on the side. So what happens is the pin goes in through this way. So what do you do? It's not hard at all. At the top there's an Allen head screw. What you do is you take a six millimeter Allen wrench. Don't use anything smaller. You'll strip out your screw and you loosen the sucker up. Now, sometimes these are too tight. They're just on the factory super tight. So I'm gonna show you a little trick. Check this out. This is a piece of galvanized conduit for electrical. You just had it laying around the house. You can use this to give yourself a little more leverage on the Allen wrench and break this free. Now forgive me, remember I'm working with one hand. Check this out. There we go. Broke it free. Sometimes they're stubborn. So now that we have that broke free, we just loosen the head up a little bit. Now we lift up this plate just enough to expose this little nipple right here, I guess you call it. So it's facing forward. Drop it back down inside. Take one of the pins that you have and you stick it in the hole to make sure that it's facing the right direction. It's all lined up nice and neat. Take your Allen wrench and tighten your screw back up good and snug and you're good to go. Now do this to all four corners of your top plate and your bottom plate and also remember carry one of these in your toolkit just in case. You never know where one of these nipples might not be lined up properly or maybe you've set something up for this I-beam totem and you forgot you're going to use box truss in your top plates. Your bottom plates aren't working anymore. So put a 6mm Allen in your toolkit. Now it's time to put it all together. Now keep in mind that the holes go a certain direction. You've got to make sure the truss goes into it with those holes. Otherwise you're going to give your base plate a half a turn. So when you're putting up your ladder truss, if you want that crisscross pattern, you're going to have to Turn your truss around to achieve it. And of course, put your top plate on. Remember what direction the holes are going in. Top plate up as you're doing it, so you don't make any mistakes. Put your pins in, hammer them in tight, and put a cotter pin in those. So how sturdy is our new creation? Well, we'll take both arms and we'll shake it. We'll stand on the plate, 
This isn't going anywhere. Back and forth, nothing. Just as sturdy as a piece of box dressing on this particular base plate. Now the sticks I'm using here are probably about five feet tall, but I think you could go a lot taller with this. As sturdy as this is, I wouldn't be ashamed to go six, even seven feet up in the air if you wanted to. So there's my solution to how David built these totems from RSD Music, giving David props for the idea. Again, I'm just upset that I didn't think of it first. Practice and enjoy.